Hi, my name's Roz. I am a stylist at the Uptown and the Downtown Salon at Bumble and Bumble. The look I'm creating today is a smoothed out curl. I'd like to enhance the natural curl of my hair, but contain some of the frizz. The tools that I'm going to use are a blow dryer and a diffuser, a wide tooth comb, and a few clips. I'm gonna start my style with prep because it creates a really nice foundation for other products that I'm going to layer on top of it. I like to section out parts of my hair so that I know I'm really getting an even application of the product. Next, I'm going to use texture and straight blow dry. I like the texture for the grit and the hold that it allows for my curls, and I like the smoothing qualities of straight blow dry. I'm gonna start by using about a quarter size amount of texture. To that, I'm going to add about a dime size amount of straight blow dry. I like to start the product application from the back of the head forward. That way you know you're not putting too much product in the front part of your hairline. By parting my hair horizontally, I'm able to really make sure that the product is getting all the way through. Now that I have all the products that I want in my hair, I'm going to comb through it. I like to use a wider tooth comb. Since I have curly hair, some of the finer tooth combs can stretch the curl a little too much and I really want to enhance my natural curl. I want to recreate the natural curl of my hair and add a little bit of bounce. So some parts I'm going to actually just scrunch up the hair. And in other areas I'm actually going to twist out hair in order to enhance that curl. Since the straight blow dry is mixed in with the texture, it's really smoothing down any of the pieces that may become too frizzy. I'm going to find my bangs basically by shaking out the hair. Since they are on the longer side, I'm going to use a clip in order to create a more defined curl and also to shrink them up during the drying process. Now I'm ready to diffuse my hair, which is basically a way of speeding up the air drying process. I'm limiting the amount that I touch my hair during the diffusing process in order to really set the hair into a wave and curl pattern and eliminate as much frizz as possible. When I do touch my hair, it's at the root in order to add more volume. Now that my hair is completely dry, I can go ahead and take my clips out and start to manipulate my curls with my hands. By going in with my hands underneath, I'm shaking up all of the curls and breaking them up to add more volume, but not disrupting any of the curls that are on top. Because I have the straight blow dry in my hair, my curls will last a few days and the frizz will be kept at bay. When I do want to refresh the look each morning, I can use a little bit of prep just to remist throughout my hair and re-scrunch. I like to have versatility in styling my hair, and I like a little bit of body and a little bit of wildness. And that's it. That's how you create my look.